A great museum is built on a great collection. My name is Nola Anderson, author of Australian War Memorial, Treasures from a Century of Collecting. This book tells the story of how the Australian War Memorial's unique collection has been created over the last 100 years. This is a collection of treasures drawn from the rich fabric of history. They are personal treasures, the precious memories, objects, mementos that together tell our story. There are so many stories in this collection, quite literally millions of them, and this book brings them to life. Some of the items in our collection are truly iconic. They represent moments in time. The Ascot boat is one of the small lifeboats in which Australian soldiers came ashore on the first day of the landing on Gallipoli. A great moment in Australia's First World War experience. Other items have come to be loved as favourite objects because they are simply fascinating. Many visitors remember the memorial's famous dioramas from early childhood visits and many come back to see them time and again. These dioramas combine sculpture and painting to create a wonderful tool for storytelling. When you look at the exquisite detail, you can imagine the noise of battle, the sucking mud, the intense cold, the fear, the physical exertion. They are a world within a world that speaks to our imagination in a very compelling and direct way. Other objects talk simply of the ordinary men and women who participated in the most extraordinary events. Take Private Robert Hartley's pocket watch, its hands frozen in time at 4.43 in the morning, the moment he waded ashore at Gallipoli. Hartley kept this watch with him throughout the rest of the war as a reminder of that day. Or a letter to Simpson on Gallipoli, known simply to many as the man with the donkey, it was from his sister Annie, and she had enclosed his favourite wild woodbine cigarettes. Sadly, the letter failed to reach him before he was shot and killed while helping wounded men to safety. But this collection is as much about the present and future as it is about the past. The task of collecting goes on, and now we must ensure that the stories of men and women on recent and current deployments are told. But above all, the book is about the service and sacrifice of Australians, and that comes at a price. That's why the last collection image in the book is the Australian flag which accompanied home the body of Lieutenant Marcus Case, killed while on operations in Afghanistan in May 2011. This book, Australian War Memorial, Treasures from a Century of Collecting, and the unique collection it documents, will ensure that Marcus's sacrifice and those of all Australians are not forgotten.